there will be a Joker from him in the IE. Okay. I don't know if he's going to bring it out if it's quite ready yet. Um, no, nah, we're going to have Belmont get out. Simon versus Richter. Okay. Make wow. it a little easier on us. You know, yeah. just picking the two echoes so we can tell who's who. <laughs> All right. So, um, in terms of seeding, Nitro definitely is seeded above Tornado 92. Yeah. Oh, I mean, dang. Nitro but is PR here. You know, got to give him some yeah. credit. Yeah. And uh, definitely um, not, not an easy PR to get onto as well. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, I, I just feel like with dittos, it can go. There's so many different things that can happen yeah. in a lot of dittos. Yeah, it really comes down to the character knowledge that these two players are going to have. They know exactly each other's setups. They're going to be looking for the same ones. But it just comes down to who can hit them. Yeah. And it, like, they, they definitely know about all the tricks that uh, Belmonts can do on the ledge trap. And Ooh. wow. Nitro not even getting to the ledge trap part. I'm sniping you off stage, and these characters, I mean, most dittos are pretty volatile, so the off stage is probably really, really crazy for these characters because they have that mid range where they can kind of just yeah. do those angled whips and just it can be so menacing off stage. Yeah, and those downward angled, like forward and backers, can actually be so difficult to try and deal with. Down here into the uppie is going to be able to get that confirmed Tornado 92 taking Nitro's first stop. Yeah, and Nitro only racking on about like 40, so not too bad, but we have him on the ledge here. Oh, wow, the return. Oh, my God, what a call out from Nitro. Knows mm. the jump is coming, says, I know you don't want to be here. Air dodging isn't that great. You're going to jump out of this. I am ready with my rising uppercut and takes that first stock. 0% still on his second. Yeah, that was so clean. Got the, the return boomerang right into the axe, and he just knew exactly when to pull the trigger on that uppy. Okay, I actually think... Belmont's like cross setups are super cool. Oh, why you hanging? You hanging too long, my friend. And right there, respecting the holy water a little too much. Nitro is not gonna let you hang on that ledge and think about it too long. And uh, yeah, I mean, we really saw the experience kind of seep through after that first stalk. I feel like, yeah. in terms of just like, I know when to make it hurt a lot more for you when you're in disadvantage rather than you can on me. And Nitro definitely on point with these confirms. Yeah, I love seeing Belmont use like the cross setups where they hit, where they bounce off of the cross into something else. I know um, we see T3 Dome, another Richter we have here, where he'll throw the cross and then Holy Water. So when the cross comes back, it pops you into an up smash instead of right. going for the post yeah. Gets a little more damage, you're high up, kills pretty early. Flashy little combo. Yeah, he actually did that earlier today in bracket after a shield break. He set up the cross, and then he just started charging up smash, and then the cross came in. Very solid confirmed. But we are going. Oh, it's, the lights are out here on Dracula's Castle. It looks like they meant to be on Battlefield or FD version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not a legal stage here. Yeah. It would be like, I, I wish it was a legal stage. That would be cool. But that staircase it, on the right close. man. It's the, the little walls, the staircase. Sus. It, it's, a, it's close, though. It. <laughs> you know, but I could see it being legal, like in brawl stage lists. Yeah, yeah, in brawl. You know, we had some <laughs> crazy. There was stuff. some. There was some interesting Rainbow stage Cruise, lists. You know, Delfino Howard. Yeah, the list back then were definitely uh, way less. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Delfino and Howard weren't legal at the start of this game. I, we learned our lesson from four. I, that's actually crazy, though. Like, I just felt like the Smash community wouldn't have learned their lesson. I was like, yeah, we're just going to have Delfino and Halvard again. You know? I'm just surprised with how few are running Lilac still, like, from the gate. Yeah. yeah very true. Oh, hey, no, Smash double jump. Did a number on us. Yes, yes, it did. But we're going to be in Dracula's Castle, of course, the Battlefield version. Um, very dark stage. And, of course, I mean, both, both these guys probably Belmont fans, so they want to yeah. listen to rock to the music as well. I'm actually, like... Super glad they do this. I love when you see dittos and they opt to go towards your character's home stage. Right, like, right. Keep general, it canon. Yeah, or in general, even when, like, a player, it's not ideal, but a player counterpicks to their home stage battlefield or things like that. I right. just think it's a cool little thing that we have the option to do here in Ultimate. Ju and another option that Nitro has is the Holy Water into the forward smash. And, I, come on, you, like, ooh, the Great Nair. Wow, okay, I see you, Tornado. And I, I just feel like... If, if anyone should know about not normal get upping into holy water, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a Belmont, Belmont player. Come on, man. But you know what? Not everyone's perfect all the time. Sometimes you just go into the light. Yeah, I mean, even if you know better, sometimes, you know, you're pressured. We saw him pouring the ledge too long last game, and he got forward smash for it anyways. 
So maybe at that point he was just kind of panicking, saying, I have to get off the ledge. Maybe I can beat it, but not the case. Okay, the up smash. Oh, but there's the up B. And that, that's one thing, you know, Belmonts are great zoners, but one thing that makes them really nice is they have the, the down tilt to get them out of the corner. Oh, and there's a forward smash, but good SDI. Um, yeah. But having that up B out of shield is just such a quick oh, option for them. it's a great option. Do not touch my shield, sir. Oh, and even though the Holy Water bounced on the platform, there's still coverage. Good DI there from Nitro. Oh, there's the anti-air, though. Yeah, and Belmont up to is a great anti-air move. We're seeing it come out from both sides where they're saying, please stop trying to land on me with the dive kick. It's not going to happen. Oh, there's a directional air dodge. And, of course, Nitro will be there to punish. And, you know, directional air dodge can help you get back. Sometimes it's your last resort, but yeah. it's more so like, I'm throwing out this directional air dodge, and I hope you don't punish me for it because it's definitely punishable. But, you very, know, sometimes people can just mess it up. Yeah, and one thing we're seeing is Tornado seems to be a lot more reserved where Nitro is just willing to go for these options, go off stage here, and he runs off and fears yeah. him. That should be the stock trade, and there it is. Nitro taking the 2-0, loses the stock, wins the set, you know? Yeah, yeah. And right there. That's what it's all about. And you know you are up a stock. You can go that deep, and yeah. it can, I mean, it, it can be a little nerve-wracking because if you miss and they make it back, then, well, you might be an idiot and have, you know, like might just lost the set. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Nitro, he was confident. Nitro has the confidence. Something cool is going on in MK11. The venue is popping off. Fatality? Yo. Uh, fatal blow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that looked painful. Oh, man, yes. That, uh, whew, that game's a little bit more brutal in terms of graphics than yeah. the game we're watching right Definitely, now. Definitely uh, <laughs> not rated E for everyone. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, we've had a very entertaining couple of matches.